Hi guys, today I am doing a movie review on the movie Maleficent. Now, clearly this came out a while ago and it's kind of crazy that I haven't seen it yet. Um, I am a huge Angelina Jolie fan and there was a time in my life where if she was in it, it was an automatically I had to go see it. But by the time this one had come out, I had heard some kind of mixed reviews about it and I just wasn't in a hurry to, to see it but we wanted something a little bit spooky for the kids, so we got this, and I watched it with my seven-year-olds. And I actually found it really, really surprisingly good, and that's one of the reasons I chose to do a review. Um, one thing that I've noticed with some retellings that can happen is it can be so close to the original that there's no surprises. And while this book, or this movie, has a lot of predictable things happen, it really took the story in a different direction and I loved it. I loved that Maleficent was understandable. I love that she was a complex character who had done the things she'd done because of, you know, it, it was bad and wrong and evil, but she wasn't bad and wrong and evil. So it wasn't like an accident or anything. She did curse Aurora, but it was definitely like in a moment of anger type thing, but it didn't make her irredeemable, you know, and she wishes at one point in the story that she could undo the curse, but she made it too powerful and she can't undo her own magic. So, um, so I really love that element of it. And then of course her assistance in rescuing Sleeping Beauty later. Um, I, there were a couple things I didn't love. Um, I didn't love that King Stefan, I thought he was a poorly done character, and I guess he had to be because he's the villain in the movie, and I just felt like maybe he was a little more evil than I would have liked, considering, again, I grew up with Sleeping Beauty, and, you know, King Stefan was a sympathetic character. We also never really got to know the queen very well, so Aurora's mom, she doesn't really play a role in the story other than, hey, she's Aurora's mom. Um, I also had mixed feelings about the fairies. Um, in the Sleeping Beauty series, or uh, Sleeping Beauty cartoon, the Disney version, it was Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. It's three different names in this one. Um, now, one of them is played by the lady who plays Umbridge in Harry Potter, and that was very much worth it, but in this, just to see it, because it's a diff, kind of a different role for her, it's a very comedic role, and I kind of had mixed feelings about that. Like, in, in Maleficent, the fairies are basically the Three Stooges. They are completely incompetent, and, it, like, in the Sleeping Beauty version, like, the, the Disney version... They had some areas where they were kind of incompetent, but I mean, these fairies had no, in Maleficent, had no business with a baby. None. None whatsoever. Like, literally, if Maleficent had just not even, just walked away after cursing Aurora, she'd have been dead. Because the fairies weren't doing their job, and they didn't, I don't know how you can be fairies and not, not understand the basics of taking care of a baby. But these fairies were... And, and how can the king and queen hand the baby over to these people who are that incompetent? So I did have some issues with that, but overall I really, really, really a lot, lot, lot more than I thought I would enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed the plot, I enjoyed the characterization of Maleficent, I enjoyed the acting, um, I loved kind of the take on it that they did. and. It was definitely way more worth watching than I had expected it to be. So if you're a fan of Disney and a fan of Sleeping Beauty, it's worth checking out to kind of see how they wanted to portray it. Um, I was really impressed and I really, really had a good time with it. Um, my girls loved it, so it is appropriate-ish for younger viewers. Um, the only thing is there was a couple places that were a little scary, um, but nothing nothing beyond that. I didn't think it was bad. And there's some really, really cute stuff. Um, the CGI is adorable. I mean, just overall, I really, 
really recommend it, especially if you have kids. So um, I loved it. I would probably give it, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I'm going to say it was, it was really way, way better than I thought it would be. And probably one of the better retellings I've seen done. So um, yeah, if you've seen it, I would love to hear what you thought about it. Um, if you want to leave a comment below, also the like and subscribe button are there as well. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.